welcome everyone myself ds monde working as assistant professor in the department of processing and food engineering kk wag college of agricultural engineering and technology nasik so in the previous lecture uh, we covered some part of this lecture that is rheological properties of food materials rheological models and their equations in this particular video lecture we will cover the rheological models and their equations so electrical analogy we have already covered this topic in our previous video lecture so starting with the rheological models and their equations so as we discussed in the previous video lecture uh, in maxwell model uh, spring and dashpot are connected in a series so the maxwell model represents the stress relaxation behavior which is the delay of stress with time when the material is suddenly deformed to a given deformation that is at a constant strain in this model the spring and dashpot are connected in series when stress is applied initially all the stress goes into stretching the spring resulting in an initial straight line portion of the curve which obeys hooke's law as the spring changes the dashpot carries more and more of the stress until until if if the model is subjected to a constant strain that is epsilon is equal to zero the rheological equation is expressed as sigma t is equal to sigma d e raised to minus t by t relaxation plus e so where sigma t denotes stress at any time t sigma d is the decay stress and sigma e is the stress equilibrium in terms of modulus of elasticity the equation can be written as e t is equal to e d e raised to minus t by t relaxation plus e e so where t relaxation is the time of relaxation so what is time of re relaxation so it can be defined as the rate of stress decay in a material subjected to sudden stress and is equal to the time required to decay 37% or 1 by of its original value so relaxation time can be given by the equation t relaxation is equal to eta by f so in other words when the material is subjected to sudden stress the deformation takes place and with the time stress starts decaying although strain is constant when the stress reduces by about 37% of its original value the time required to achieve it is called as relaxation time so the next model is kelvin model in kelvin model spring and dashpot are connected in a parallel way so in the kelvin model spring and dashpot are connected in parallel both the elements are forced to move together at a constant rate therefore force due to the dashpot jumps to a constant value instantaneously and remain constant while the force on the spring starts at zero and gradually builds up when the effects of the two elements are superimposed the net effect is the behavior of the kelvin model the kelvin model is used to represent the creep behavior of the material so what do you mean by creep behavior it is the deformation with time when the material is suddenly subjected to a dead load constant stress that is sigma is equal to constant in this case the total stress is divided between the spring and the dashpot therefore sigma is equal to sigma s plus sigma r which is equal to capital e epsilon plus eta e dash if the initial strain is zero the equation for creep under constant load can be represented as capital e is equal to epsilon by e in bracket 1 minus e raised to minus t by t t retard so where t retard is the called the retardation time the retardation time in this case is 1 minus 1 by e or about 
63 percent of the of the time for total strain so the next model is rheological model is four element model also called as Berger model so this model is used to predict the creep behavior in a number of materials the model is composed of a spring and dashboard in series with another spring and dashboard in parallel in other words one spring and dashboard are connected in a series and another spring and dashboard are connected in a parallel way in this type of model so epsilon is equal to epsilon a plus epsilon b plus epsilon c and sigma is equal to sigma a plus sigma b plus sigma c so epsilon a is equal to e zero epsilon a corresponding to instantaneous deformation sigma a is equal to e zero epsilon b plus eta epsilon b corresponding to retarded elastic deformation so the four element Berger model is shown by this figure so e epsilon t is equal to sigma 0 by e 0 plus sigma 0 by e r into 1 minus e raised to minus t by t retard plus sigma 0 t by eta v so above equation is valid for total stress or total strain in tension or compression and shear in case of bulk compression eta r is equal to shear stress that is sigma t by shear strain eta v so rheological characteristics of food so there are various rheological characteristics of food like modulus of deformation modulus of elasticity degree of elasticity strain energy of compression per unit volume mechanical hysteresis compression stress work ratio etc so starting with the modulus of deformation so these characteristics of the rheological characteristics of the biological material plays an important role while uh, experimenting or while analyzing the material under applied load the base modulus of deformation the elastic modulus is calculated from the first loading cycle is referred to as the modulus of deformability and takes into account the total deformation of the material in the first loading cycle modulus of elasticity the elastic modulus is calculated from subsequent loading cycle when the recovered deformation becomes constant is referred to as the modulus of elasticity for materials where the stress strain relationship is curvilinear then the linear initial tangent scans or core moduli may be determined A degree of elasticity the degree of elasticity is defined as the ratio of recovered deformation to total deformation when a material is loaded to a certain load and then unloaded to zero load it is calculated from the first loading unloading curve of any axial cyclic compression of materials the fourth characteristic rheological characteristic is strain energy of compression per unit volume that is the capacity of a material for storage of strain energy in the elastic range and is also known as resilience of material the degree of elasticity is defined as the ratio of covered deformation to total deformation so mechanical hysteresis the energy absorbed by material in a cyclic loading and evaluated as area between loading and unloading curve is defined as hysteresis loss it is a measure of the damping capacity or the ability of material to dissipate strain energy as heat 
compression stress it is measured compression stress due to small deformation on the big muscle samples and correlated it with textural properties work ratio the ratio of the area under leading curve of the second cycle to the area under the first cycle is called the work ratio this is similar to the cohesiveness so this is about the rheological models and their equation and rheological characteristics of the biological material in the next lecture we will continue with the new topic thank you